Hello, lovely folks. It is another week, so another update is here. And I'm the last person at the office. So you're gonna walk around with me as I close up uh, all the lights and stuff. How did my week go, folks? Well, look, actually, it started off nicely because uh, this was a short week because Monday was my anniversary. And wow, that was... Uh, it was two years of marriage that we've had, and you know, we haven't really, aside from the honeymoon that was like a whole week out, we have not invested time, a whole lot to just like extensively just be with each other, you know? Uh, maybe we'll have like, you know, dinner dates, or maybe we'll have like a afternoon or a whole evening together or whatever, but, Nothing where it's just like a whole secluded day somewhere else that, um, you know, was really nice. So we did that. We went to the River Spirit Casino and stayed there for the night. And then I pretty much, I did nothing on Monday because that was our anniversary day. And uh, that was enjoyable. And it really reminded me, whoa we need to do things like this a lot more uh, instead of not doing those things. So, but anyways, and then Tuesday was kind of a subpar day, honestly. I mean, not every day is gonna be great. But then Wednesday and today were some kick butt days where Wednesday had a real positive meeting in my network group. People shouted me out in front of everyone, which was fun and then met with my social media manager who told me that uh, I have the potential to really be a significant uh, influencer that stands out in the business field. But that was a very interesting social media meeting. I mean, every month we're growing on the amount of followers that we have from nothing to something. And uh, more and more people are noticing us and being loyal fans, actually. Um, and it's kind of small beginnings, but what this social media gal is showing me is she is showing me that based upon what she thinks about me and where this account can go and how this could really blossom, it's like she's making herself look irresistible, which is really cool for someone to do in business. So props to her. Uh, because of how the meeting happened yesterday, uh, I don't think I'm not I'm not gonna let her go, you know, um, unless she lets me go. <laughs> um, and then today, I mean, I didn't have I had one client meeting, and then I had a meet up with someone earlier this morning, who's in the same field, but uh, just starting with bookkeeping stuff. He's a finance guy, but was really intrigued about how the heck we're doing here with this business and uh, could become a fruitful relationship. Who knows? Yeah, this Friday, um, it's a half day because we're driving down to Texas to visit the parents. But because of all this free time where I got here super early and, uh, you know, had like, how many meetings cancel? I had like four different meetings cancel. Uh, I get to do 24 different items on my to-do list. So really kick some butt here. And I even thought about like long distance strategic planning here for the company um, and got to really adjust. I was given a very lofty goal of what this could be and based upon where it's been now and if things work out where the current staff stays loyal and does a great job, and then the new people I add are also good, um, then look, this business is definitely gonna be at 50 clients. Even if no one else is added on the team, we can get 50 clients. Um, so that's definitely gonna happen this year at some point. Uh, but if things go well, could be close to 70 if not more, which is uh, pretty outstanding. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, look, I just, I gotta thank God for it. 
I can't. I got to, cause I, I'm an average dude. I'm not a genius. I'm not a whiz kid. I'm not an Elon Musk, Mr. Beast, workaholic guy, Gary V. That's not me. Um, but for whatever reason, things continue to go pretty decently here, and. Um, you know, even though it could really get bad, <laughs> you know, if I end up having someone else quit, you know, or I just suddenly stop getting clients or this would be weird, but suddenly clients would be pissed off and annoyed at us, you know, um, it, stuff like that could happen, but it's not. So I got to thank God, you know, and then, um, I got to thank my wife for understanding how the heck things have been going. Uh, I gotta thank my kid for only being like one and not feeling like I'm not there for them. <laughs> uh, I, don't worry, I still hang out with him. I mean, you know, Sunday hung out with him, you know, Monday afternoon hung out with him. This whole weekend I'll be with him with my parents. So, um, and then I got good friends, you know, good family around. So it's just like, there's a lot of good, uh, even though there is struggle and there is this uh, tenacious wrestling with the goals and pursuits I have had for this business. Things are going really well considering a lot of other companies. Like I said uh, last week, um, I've had chats with folks where the growth has been astounding. And I mean, I've, I've had a couple more chats uh, this week where it's the same response. So, um, yeah, I, I had a lot of time to work on action items for folks, which is great. And um, even on a short week. And um, yeah, excited to get into more client meetings and excited for future times to hang out with my wife. Again, we saw how important that was. So Labor Day weekend, we're going out and without the kid with a couple friend of ours, which is great. And then at the end of September, we'll be on a cruise for the whole week without Levi. So, you know, we love Levi, but I mean, this is exclusive time with Danielle and I, uh, which is just, it's gonna, it, that's great, you know. That's what I got, and uh, I'm in a good mood for today's video, so that's great, <laughs> which is why I wanted to record it now, at the end of the day, and uh, time to close up the office.